Now, Chelsea Torres with your Chris 6 Sports Report. Good evening, everyone. Well, high school football playoffs are in full swing, and round three happening this weekend. Right now in San Antonio, the Cal Allen Wildcats are playing at the Alamo Dome, and sports director Alan Harwell is live at that Cal Allen game. Hey, Alan, how is it going out there? Hi, Chelsea. This has been a game of two halves. The Wildcats trailed at halftime. Let me show you what's happening right now. They were down 24 to 10 at the break. They've come back. They've scored 21 unanswered points. In fact, they just took the go ahead lead about three minutes ago. And here's the situation. There's a minute 12 left to play. The Wildcats lead 31 to 24. They have first and 10. All they've got to do now is run out the clock and they'll play again next Saturday right here in the Alamo Dome at high noon. 21 unanswered points. That has been the difference. Plus the Cal Island defense has really come on strong here in the second half. They always seem to find a way to make those important second half adjustments. So a minute to go. The clock is winding down. When we come back at 10 o'clock, we'll have post game coverage and all the highlights. It's a big day for the Wildcats. Chelsea, I'll throw it back to you. All right, well, thank you, Alan. Well, let's go ahead and get to that first half game highlights of this Cal Allen game. Right here, Cal Allen is undefeated, taking on the Kerrville Tyvee Antlers, whom are 10 and 2 on the season. Now, Tyvee with the ball here, quarterback Carson Valverde, 20 yard scamper. Yes, he runs that in for the first touchdown on the board. That makes it Antlers up 7 0. Now, Wildcats will respond. Quarterback Colton Duff here connects with a wide open to Zach Hawkins for 46 yards. Then that makes it a tied game in the first 7-7. Seven, seven. Antlers now, Valverde finds Josh Vila as he takes it past a defender for a 22-yard touchdown. Tyvee up 14-7, still in the first. But here in the second quarter, Antlers, Valverde, 39-yard run right up the middle. Too easy for Tyvee. Wildcats now trail 21-10. So at the half, out, Antlers will lead 24 at, the t at 10. And of course, you know, as you can tell right now, still a minute left in the game. And we'll find out soon who will come out on top. We'll come